Hi everyone. Well, I've been looking forward to making this video for you. Uh, a short while ago, I was sent a drill by a company called Kuliau, and I hope I have pronounced that correctly, by the way. This um, little drill is something neat. There we go. It's called a customizer, and it is, is just ever so cute, I must admit. Here is the set. Obviously no wires involved. It is uh, rechargeable, which is really, really nice. Um, it feels quite substantial. It's not something, it doesn't feel light and cheap, if you know what I mean. It feels relatively substantial. It already has a diamond burr in it. And when we turn it on, there we go, you can hear it. It automatically comes on at the fastest speed of three. And there you can hear at number two and press it again. And you go down to the slowest speed. Press it again and it goes off. Right. Um, as I say, it's already got a diamond in it and it comes with 30 diamonds. I haven't counted whether that's 30 more diamonds or 30 altogether, but there you are. You can see all the diamonds, various shapes and sizes, um, and a little key that helps to secure them in place. It also has the charger, of course, and uh, this is not a special housing for the charger. This is a neat little lid for the pen so that now it can go into your pocket safely and you can take it along to wherever you're intending to customize something. It takes bows that are 2.35 millimeter in size of shank and so if you are wanting other burrs from other companies, as long as that is the size, they will fit the standard burr um, for a drill that takes 2.35 millimeter. So without further ado, I think it is time to get on with some engraving. So now I've got my headband magnifiers on, I see that this is actually not a diamond. This is a tungsten carbide tip. Um, <laughs> You can see its, its shape is quite different to a diamond and so that would not be any use on the glass. So I am removing it and I will be putting a little diamond in. This of course is from the little box full of lovely burrs. The instructions did say that uh, using this key is not always necessary for small burrs. So we'll have a test anyway. It starts off at the highest speed and I am just letting you hear what it sounds like. Now I'm not pressing very hard but you can hear a slight drag. There's definitely a slight drag on it as um, you press slightly harder and I would imagine with a, a larger burr this would be accentuated. So clearly you need to be a little bit gentle with this piece of equipment. I very simply had uh, drawn with a permanent marker, obviously the basic shape of my banana, and I am really very simply running over the edges now with the same little diamond. I have a white background so that you can see very clearly the, uh, the black pen marks. 
I'm putting a larger diamond burr in now. You can see a little bit of wavering, that of course at high speed with the battery full. And of course a lot of dust, it is really chewing very nicely into this rather cheap beer glass. It's nothing fancy, it's not a crystal, it's quite a thick glass. Of course, if you are um, unaware, you really do need to wear a mask. I also use water with my engraving, but I'm not using water for this demonstration. I am creating some very, very simple uh, shapes that I am seeing within the banana itself. Now, as I only have uh, diamond burrs in the set, I am having to create half tones just using diamonds. Anybody who knows me uh, knows that I do like to use stones and rubbers to create half tones as well. I will be creating another video where I use only two more burrs, a burrs that are purchased from another company, um, where I carry on with this video and create a lovely 3D half toned banana. That of course is demonstrating the sound is slightly different where I am very very lightly letting the burr bounce across the surface of the glass so that a lot of the clear glass is still showing through but it is giving us the impression of a half tone or a grey tone um, as opposed to the white of course just trying to bring to the surface and making this banana a little bit more solid. Be a little bit careful not to go over the edges. Clearly in this little section I have sped up the, the film to quite a degree. I'm not engraving this fast. I wish I could. I am quite impressed at the degree that this drill is engraving into a relatively cheap glass. I am managing quite well to create some 3D effects that will be noticeable with the light coming slightly from the side. Already the main body of the banana has quite a good 3D effect with the light coming from the side showing the intaglio engraving which is quite impressive to be honest. And as you can see with this engraving so far we have used one bar of battery. I am certainly putting it through its paces I believe um, and I've got to say that the body of the drill is certainly not hot or anything like that which sometimes um, a cheaper drill can get um, but it is certainly not hot. And there you see, I'm virtually finished and still only one bar used.
always sign your work. I am using a very small ended burr called a rat's tail, also in the set. I'm just making a note of the fact that this is a demonstration glass. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it is helpful. I recommend this little drill certainly for beginners. I would like to thank the company Kulia for sending this drill to me to demonstrate with. Um, it has been most enjoyable. And so to continue for those watching this version of the video, um, I am creating now half tone effects using other burrs other than the Kuliao um, diamond burrs. They don't have uh, the half tone burrs that um, I usually use, of course. So as you can see, I have got the little Dura White in the drill at the moment and I'm running it um, on the second speed. I did try the first as you could have seen earlier on and then I decided that was a little bit too wibbly wobbly and slow <laughs> and uh, now I am running it at speed number two. I am taking it over all the irritating rough areas where little bits of clear glass are showing through which are fine if you've only got diamonds to play with there's not a lot you can do about it to create half tones but this is the way I like to make half tone 3D effects so it's very very simple taking the Dura White and running lightly over areas to um, not take away any of the texture and then some areas where I do want to get rid of the harsh diamond line like the edge of the peel of the banana then I run this Dura White over those lines. Of course later on I will be uh, polishing as well so there's not a lot to do quite frankly. Uh, but there's nothing like good solid half tone shading. Just running this very lightly over the top of the banana and it's very funny because I had a photograph of a banana and there's definitely these jolly textures but once I engraved it I looked at it and I thought hmm it looks a little bit like corn but um, <laughs> I could have blended it a little bit more uh, so that those uh, variations in depth were not as obvious but hey ho it's a banana um, as I say, this process is quite simple now. Still running it over the edge. And instantly that is now pretty solid. I'm using a rubber next. Now, as you can see, I was saying a no-no to a long new rubber because this jumps in at the highest speed first. So I have put on a very worn out, almost completely finished rubber just so that it's smaller um, and I had it running on one which wasn't I think it was one wasn't good enough just wasn't fast enough and so I am now running it on three which is actually fine it's working really really well and just running it over the edges where I want it to be well shaded don't think I would have put uh, a big wheel into this drill. It is quite delicate. Um, I wouldn't say it's that delicate, but certainly wouldn't put a very big burr in it. Look how easy it is to add a little bit of shading and 3D effect. Back with the diamond, now we've done that shading. I'm down to only one bar. And I'm just adding some highlights where maybe my, my rubber has just taken away some of um, the, the brightness.
putting some highlighted edges. Rather, the underside of that bit of peel. So now looking a much more solid banana. And this is only using literally two more burrs. So that is a Dura White and the little uh, rubber. So there you have it, a lovely 3D banana. I'm not sure that I have engraved a banana before, I actually can't remember. <laughs> I don't even know why one would engrave a banana, it just came to my head as a fun subject to engrave. Thanks for watching, I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this and that it's useful to you. Happy engraving. Bye for now.